Yeah, well, we're into your final week at the club before your retirement. Is it possible to sum up how you're feeling this week? I think uh, it's really difficult to try and uh, explain how you feel when you've done something for so long. I think I've played in the game over 20 years now at this kind of level and it's almost like uh, you're, it's not real, as if it's not happening. Um, it's just been so good to be part of this club and just be part of the sport in general. But I'm just so glad and uh, honoured that I've managed to be able to do that and do it at this club and end my career here. And there's obviously been a lot of change over the, the last two years, more so. Um, how do you look back on, on where the club was when you joined and, and where it is now? As I said, it's, it's just in such a kind of seen short space of time that it's just went from one point to another and so quickly, especially in the last year and a half, which is just amazing. Um, I think all of that's probably added along with my age and the fact that I've got another job to why I'm deciding to retire now. It's just unbelievable, like full-time uh, women footballers in this country mm-hmm. and I think Rangers can kind of lead them from the front with that. It's just unbelievable and it, it's something the club should be really proud of. And you touched on maybe hoping that, that you would have been a role model to some young girls. What would your message be to the sort of next generation of female footballers? Anything's possible. I have managed to do it, even if it's only for a short time, and it's, it's really just about uh, believing that, that you can do it. Obviously, there's, as I said, not so many role models now, so so many of these girls will be able to see themselves in a Nick Doc, and a Kirsten Riley, and a Kirsty Hibbert. So it's about working hard, and, and if you really want it, you can get it.